one wicket to go. The batsmen are ready. Peterson and Panasar. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Afternoon, Bill. There can't have been too much for Ricky to say to the guys. I wonder if that was just preempting the fact that everything will get manic when the Ashes are won. And I wonder if he's just saying this has been a special performance. Let's never forget what we've achieved here. And almost a thank you for the way that they've responded to his call. Anyway, it'll be uh, Shane Warne, almost by right, who will start this second session to Kevin Peterson with one wicket required for the 31st successful Ashes campaign for Australia. Peterson sweeps. They take a single. Tanisar on strike. Warne with 698 test wickets. Bowled superbly throughout the series, but particularly yesterday in the heat when things were tough, wickets weren't falling. That man on screen, what a test match for him. Eight wickets with the ball. Bowled his heart out for England. Well, this would be a great moment for Warren if he can uh, pick up a wicket here, give him 699, and if he's fit and uh, plays in Melbourne, the opportunity to take the 700th wicket of his career in front of his own crowd. Game! It's all over! And could you ask for more? Vian returns to Australia. A magnificent moment for Ricky Ponting and his magnificent 11. Australia held them until 2005 and Ricky Ponting who was leading the side when they went on that occasion has got them back and the Australians have played magnificently they certainly have Richie all the team the batsmen the bowlers the fieldsmen I thought that Ricky Ponting throughout Jones today it just showed the class of the Australian team the quality and this crowd around about 20,000 people a wonderful in front of his own crowd Could you ask for more? The end returns to Australia. <laughs>